So this question is a diagram question. The diagram provided for us is a circle. We see that we have 100 degrees as our central angle there. So let's read the question and see what we're being asked to do with this diagram. So the question says point C is the center of the circle above. What fraction of the area of the circle is the area of the shaded region? So um, the wording here is not great. Uh, it's a lot of ofs and ofs and ofs. However, this really does lend itself to translation. Okay, so I'm gonna call it. I'll say this kind of really fits our translate word problem strategy. So we want to really take our time. What fraction of the area of the circle? Well, we know based upon reading that that we're dealing with the fraction. So I'm gonna draw my fraction bar. We know that we're trying to find the fraction of the area of a circle, and we know that the formula, hopefully you remember, that the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, so that would go on bottom. And then, well, what goes on top, right? Well, the fourth fraction of the area of the circle is the area of the shaded region. Well, how do we find the area of this shaded region? Another word, another um, name for this shaded region is a sector. In case you see that on another question. And the way that you find the area for a sector is you take the central angle, which I'll just call X, um, although we see that in this case it is 100 degrees. And we say, well, X divided by 360, right? That gives us the fraction of the entire circle because the entire circle is 360 degrees. So that's our fraction. We're multiplying that by pi r squared. So in essence, we're saying, hey, we know pi r squared is the area of the whole circle, but we want only the area of a fraction of that circle. What fraction of the circle do we care about? Well, it's the, it's the, it's the uh, central angle here divided by 360. So I'm going to just write that up above here. So I have x over 360 times pi r squared. Here is our translation of the question. So um, what are we left with? What is this fraction? Well, I can simplify this fraction because pi r squared here can cancel out pi r squared there, leaving me with just x over 360. Now, again, the question tells us that the central angle is 100, so I'm going to replace x with 100. So we have 100 divided by 360. And now this just becomes a simplification or a uh, you know reducing fraction uh, type of question. So one quick way to reduce this is to cross the zeros out here. You can always do that as long as they're paired up, right? One zero on top to one zero on the bottom. So now we're left with 10 divided by 36. And now the greatest common factor between 10 and 36 is actually 2. So if I divide, 10 divided by 2 becomes 5 and 36 divided by 2 becomes 18. And therefore, here is our answer, right? This 5 eighteenths is the fraction of the area of the circle um, that is the area of the shaded region, right? The shaded region is 5 eighteenths the area of the whole circle.